the president visited the court is now in session. L'audience reprend. We're going to hear more from him, Hoy. Et nous poursuivons l'audition. We would like to de, give the floor next Hoy. to the civil La party lawyers group two. Groupe deux. The floor is yours. Des parties civiles, groupe deux. Maître Stutinsky. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Mr. Himhui. Bonjour, Monsieur Himhui. My name is Silke Stutinsky. Je suis Silke I represent civil parties. Je représente les parties civiles. That means the victims. C'est-à-dire les victimes. Mr. Himhui, could you? Monsieur Himhui. Oh, I want to tell you that Je souhaite, uh, um, here in the courtroom, ici, victims are sitting des and they want to know qui sont présentes, what qui happened in S21 and in Chung Ek. And you could contribute et vous pouvez if you would tell the truth to them, une and especially as far as they themselves are concerned pour ce qui or their cas relatives. Parents et proches. My first question to you Première question. is Did you ever ill treat anybody maltraité in S21? Qui que ce soit à S21. <coughs> Réponse. Him, hoi. I had never ill treated uh, anybody at uh, the detention facility, and I could not help anyone. Prison. And when I was on duty, I was under duress and order. J'agissais sur les ordres de mes supérieurs et Mr. Mouy, dans do un you cadre contraignant. No, Mr. Boumeng. Question. Connaissiez-vous Monsieur Boumeng? Him, him hoy, yes. Oui. Yes, I do. Je le connais. When I opened uh, the door Lorsque at the workshop, uh, he asked me ouvert la porte whether I saw his wife or Il not. Demandé si vu sa femme. And uh, I was not allowed to communicate with any detainee communicate avec les détenus qui quel qu'il soit I was told that if any detainee asked about their wife then si I was uh, instructed to tell them that the wife would be now working at the rice field otherwise uh, I would uh, be killed if I told them that uh, the wife would be detained or si killed leur, uh, disait, si je leur donnais des renseignements so, plus précis is it correct to say that you have been asked already question. At S21, S21, when you were guard, lorsque vous there étiez garde à S21, by Mr. Boumeng, where Monsieur Boumeng his wife vous a is. effectivement is this posé right? la question de savoir où était sa femme. C'est bien correct. Him hoy, that is right. Oui, c'est correct. The rule was strict that uh, we could not uh, tell the detainee about the, the whereabouts of the other person, otherwise we would be in trouble. Le où se leur, uh, today, here in the courtroom, question. could you tell dans le today, Mr. Boumeng, what happened to his wife, ce qui est arrivé where à son épouse. she was killed où elle a été and tuée where she is buried. Et où son corps a été enterré. Him, hoi. Réponse. When the detainees were taken away Lorsque to be killed, of course they were executed at Chung Ek. C'était pour exécution à Chung Ek. 
I ask not in general, I ask question. Je ne vous pose pas une question générale. I have asked Je you vous pose to une question. tell Mr. Boumeng, who is sitting here in the courtroom, de Monsieur Boumeng, qui est ici maybe présent you might, dans le if you have a look and turn your head right, uh, left, vous, you will see him. Si vous voulez bien and regarder to vers respond to him gauche, where vous about the voir. fate of his wife and not a general answer that people were killed in Chiang Ek. That is well known and also Chacun Mr. Boumeng knows this. Chacun sait que les gens étaient tués à Chiang Ek. Monsieur Boumeng le sait aussi. Il vous Il souhaite savoir ce qu'il en était de sa Him, femme. Réponse. I don't actually know who is who ne or who was the why of who because normally if a person was uh, after being interrogated then he would or she would be taken away to be executed uh, and I only can confirm that, that the wives of those detainees were executed at Tiung Ek. Des Mr. Mouy, uh, you told the chamber Ek. already that you checked the lists Question. at Chung Ek. That means that you went through the name lists of prisoners to check Ek. if vous everybody who should be sent to Chung Ek is present et vous for to be killed. Ils I would like to tell you um, the name of Mr. Boumeng's wife, maybe that is helpful. De la femme de this is Monsieur Boumeng, Mrs. Mayern, alias T. Vous aider. Mayern, alias Could you T. now respond to my question? Est-ce que, sachant ce nom, vous pouvez maintenant répondre à ma question? Marion. Réponse. Him, hoi. I was not the only person who transported detainees to Chiang Ek. Ek. Paul was also in charge of transporting Paul detainees, so how could I tell whether uh, the wife of uh, Boumeng actually was uh, transported during the time si when I was on duty? La femme de Boumeng a été transportée sous ma garde. This is my last attempt to get question. an answer to my question. Je fais une dernière tentative pour the accused une told us some weeks ago nous a dit il y a semaines that que you have the knowledge vous étiez where la personne and under which circumstances, but especially where et the wife of Mr. Boumeng la femme was killed de and Boumeng buried. A été and therefore, et maybe, et donc, as he was your former superior, dans la mesure où il était votre supérieur, maybe this is helpful to facilitate and to give an answer for which Mr. Boumeng is waiting already for many, many years. Qu'attend M. Boumeng depuis de très longues et nombreuses années? Him, hoi. Réponse. As I just stated Comme je viens detainees de vous le were dire, ordered uh, to be smashed at Chung Ek and that's how they were transported and executed. That's all. Un... I come back les to exécutés. the ill treatment question. of prisoners. You have said du mauvais traitement you never ill treated prisoners. Dites maintenant que vous n'avez jamais maltraité de prisonniers. Monsieur who Boumeng, was prisoner and who was qui a été tortured in qui a été torturé to Sleng in S21, said that he was tortured a a été by him, par Hui, him Hui, among others who tortured him. Can you confirm the statement Est -ce que vous of pouvez Mr. Boumeng that he was Ce propos de Monsieur Boumeng qui dit qu'il a été maltraité et battu by you. notamment par vous-même. Him Hoi. Réponse. I was not uh, entitled the rights to Je interrogate any detainee. I could not uh, be any in position to Je torture any one of the detainees. Dans un rôle qui euh, m'aurait amené à torturer des détenus. I come then to the question. 
um, report of the reenactment and the part that my colleague already has told you. It is document D48-2 and there in the English um, version. Uh, the ERN 0198004. You responded already to my colleague that you never participated in interrogations, although you have told it to the judges during this reenactment. What is about torture? Did you tell the judges during the reenactment that you participated in torture? And I would like to remind you it is, was the 27th of February 2008, that is one and a half year ago, where it was noted that you now recall this event or events parler de ce souvenir que vous avez eu. Marion Som. Him, oui. Réponse. I had no duty to interrogate or torture any detainee. De I was vested with the right to receive detainees capacité et les pouvoirs y afférents de réceptionner and only the interrogators who were vested with the powers authority to interrogate detainees and I was not so I, ha I had no knowledge of how interrogation uh, should uh, be carried out how could I interrogate uh, people I spoke about torture but then is my question why Question. did you tell Alors, the judges then this lie in February 2008? Why did you admit something what you never have, as you claim today, what you never have done? Des actes what was the reason for this? Why did you tell the judges this lie? Why did you tell the judges this lie? I told the, uh, you already that uh, I had never interrogated uh, or tortured uh, prisoners because if I were, I was not uh, knowledgeable of how uh, interrogation could be conducted, then how could I come into uh, torture any detainee because I could not read or write. Par ailleurs, je ne savais ni lire ni écrire. I think it's not necessary to know how to read or to write Question. to torture for torturing. Again, my question, please une fois, respond to the question ma question and do not repeat again that you had no authority to do so. I want to know why did you tell this lie to the co-investigating judges vous avez in February last year? en février de l'année dernière devant les co-juges d'instruction. Réponse. Uh, the president, Le uh, we know uh, that uh, the Mr. Kong Sum Hall is on Mr. his feet. Uh, you take the Kong floor. Sum Hon souhaite prendre la parole. Vous avez la parole. Mr. Kong Sum Hon. Maître Kong Sum Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. First of all, I would like uh, Mrs. Stutsinski to um, actually point to the inconsistency that uh, you have uh, found uh, in uh, the testimony him Hoi gave uh, before the co-investigating judges. Please um, quote that portion of the statement uh, him Hoi actually gave uh, to the co-investigating judges before he is challenged. Thank you. Avant de mettre en cause ainsi, Monsieur. May I continue? Maître Studzinski. Um, I repeat my question, and this was already quoted uh, as a response to uh, my colleague. Um, 
I want to know why did you lie to the co-investigating judges in February 2008 when you said, yes, I participated in interrogation and torture. Why did you tell them this lie? This is my question. Please only answer to this question. At that time, when interrogators were recruited, they asked me whether I could uh, interrogate uh, detainees. And I asked them, how could I interrogate or torture detainees because I could not read or write? And I told them that I would not be willing to become an interrogator. I would be better off being a guard instead. OK, I can only state that the president, uh, the Council for the witness, you take the floor. Le Conseil du témoin, vous avez la parole. Mr. Kong Sam On, Maître thank you, Mr. Kong President. On, merci, I President. think uh, Ms. Tudzinski has Je not uh, confirmed uh, the statement in which, uh, or in which part of the statement that uh, the witness actually um, lied to the co-investigating judges. So you are now telling the court that the witness is now lying to the court too because he has failed to confirm whether the statement before the co-investigating judges is true of his testimony. So that's why I would like the lawyer to please quote the portion of their testimony before the co-investigating judges so that uh, the uh, witness can confirm because telling different story of uh, what uh, the witness uh, would have already given to the investigating judges doesn't mean that he is telling the court a lie. Only when the text is verified that uh, you can even uh, challenge the witness uh, further. The Il president, uh, Ms. Dutsinski, could you please président, do Stoudzinski, according to what as requested uh, by the counsel for the witness to that particular portion of the statement you would like to quote from the co-investigating judges before you asked uh, the witness to confirm it. Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Merci, Monsieur le Président. I'm normally advised not to repeat what I have already said, but I will do it again if uh, nobody or the league and the president did not listen to it. It is document D48-2 in the English. Again, the ERN, which I already and the transcript will show it already has indicated it is 0019-8004 again, where the witness said to the co-investigating judges under 8.9 that he admitted to participating in interrogations and torture. The same quotation was already said as I referred to by my colleague Alain Werner some minutes ago before the break, and I hope that this camps in the Khmer translation in the correct form, and I would like to continue now, but even if normally my time is nearly finished, but it was interrupted two times, and I would like to have three minutes more to finalize here my uh, questioning. Thank you. And I want to come back uh, to Mr. Himhui, uh, who obviously does not want to answer to my questions, and I only note that either the statement before the co-investigating judges in February is wrong, or his statement today is wrong. Now I want to come back to the ill treatment. Um, and I've told you already that Mr. Boumeng claims uh, that you have beaten him, you personally. Do you? Um, find that then Mr. Boumeng, if this is not the case, that then Mr. Boumeng tells not the truth and lies when he claims that you have beaten him, would you then tell this to the court? 
Pouvez-vous le dire Mark dans la chambre Him Réponse. Hoi. I may put it this way. At that time when he was ceci. arrested, a été arrêté, the people who worked there noticed how small he was and how could he get married and had, uh, uh, have a wife. Ils se sont dit, and then a pu se marier, avoir une femme? the workers uh, even mocked uh, or made uh, fun of him by way lui. of... Uh, testing his uh, strengths because he was small Comme and how could petit, he uh, ils ont mis uh, en have a wife uh, and then later on after the challenge he sa uh, could avoir une uh, femme. prove that he was strong enough to lift a big Et stone so il that's a prouvé qu'il était assez fort pour uh, soulever une grosse pierre did he as well prove how strong Question. he is when il you forced him to sit on his shoulders so that he, he had to carry you. Was this also proof how, to, how strong he is? L'avez obligé à, à vous porter sur ses épaules. C'est ainsi aussi que vous avez euh, cherché à prouver combien il était fort. Femme. Réponse. Well, of course, uh, the, said the uh, witness that uh, I remember riding on his shoulder and that he could lift me up and he proved that he was strong and of course he was that strong fort. to lift me up and uh, even when he met me recently he kept Récemment, saying this to me that je rencontré, uh, about that uh, event il a évoqué cet, uh, cet incident de nouveau I come back to my qu previous question. Do you think Maître that Mr. Boumeng lies when he says that you have beaten him? Que vous pensez que Monsieur Boumeng ment lorsqu'il dit que vous l'avez frappé? Mark him. Réponse. Him, hoi. I never beaten him Je because I was not battu. vested with Je any authority en to beat any detainee. If I did so, I would que ce uh, soit. be accountable for si my misconduct je because cela, I mistreated a detainee without uh, uh, any authority that I was entitled to do so. Je so only, pas only the interrogators would do so, I guess. De faire cela. Et je pense que seuls les interrogateurs avaient ce droit. Mouille. It would be very kind if you would answer to my questions. Je vous serai gré again, de bien vouloir répondre really à mes questions. Tried, Encore une fois, une dernière fois, je retente ma question. Boumain, si vous ne l'avez jamais battu, frappé, la conséquence en est que M. Boumeng ment lorsqu'il dit que vous l'avez frappé. C'est bien cela Réponse. Him, hoy. I don't know uh, how he can say that. Je ne sais pas comment il peut dire cela. I have no further question. Thank you. Maître Studzinski, je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser. Some Le président. The president. It is now time for the civil party lawyers group la parole three to put questions du to the witness. Des partis civils. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Madame et Messieurs les juges. Bonjour, Monsieur Imoy. Tout d'abord, Monsieur Imoy, je voudrais vous remercier de votre présence et de votre parole. Si j'ai bien écouté et compris les explications que vous nous avez données la semaine dernière, votre fonction était d'accompagner les prisonniers jusqu'à la porte de S21 et en particulier dans toute la zone de S21. Occasionnellement, vous avez rendu service en remplaçant du personnel absent à l'intérieur de S21 lorsqu'il y a eu des arrivages trop importants de Ma question sera la suivante. Est-ce que tous les prisonniers, à l'exception des femmes, qui étaient à S21, étaient le torse nu et juste avec un short Réponse. Him, hoi. The rules in the prison Dans la prison, was clear that la raison, la 
détainés n'étaient pas permis de porter des vêtements hormis un short. Parce qu'il était pensé que si le short était détenu, il n'y aurait pas de vêtements hormis un short. Car si on leur permettait de porter des vêtements hormis un short, ils seraient servis pour se pendre. 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 Lorsque vous transférez des prisonniers dans les interrogatoires, dans les maisons des interrogateurs, est-ce que les prisonniers étaient toujours en short ou est-ce qu'on les habillait Est-ce qu'ils étaient toujours en short ou est-ce qu'ils étaient en underpants ou étaient-ils en dressed Bon, je me suis dit qu'il y a eu un peu. Him, hoi. When I saw them being walked to be executed, they were wearing only underpants. Ils ne portaient que leurs shorts. And uh, if the detainees who were former members, sta staff members of the S21, uh, would be walked out, then they would be covered si with blankets to just conceal themselves from being seen by the other members of the staff at S21. Pour éviter que les autres membres du personnel ne les voient. La question, merci pour votre réponse. Mais la question était, et je vous aurais pu poser cette question plus tard, mais la question était pour emmener les gens aux interrogatoires. Est-ce qu'on les habillait Est-ce qu'ils restaient non pas dans la prison, mais dans la zone de S21 Ou est-ce qu'ils restaient en short Réponse. Him, hoi. I don't remember that much, but I, so far as I remember, people who were being walked to be interrogated would only wear the underpants. Ne portaient que les shorts. Lorsque vous êtes resté aux portes des interrogateurs. Est-ce que vous avez entendu plusieurs fois les cris, les hurlements, les pleurs des prisonniers interrogés Coming from the prisoners who were being interrogated Réponse. The prisoners who cried les prisonniers after they were taken back to the room. After they were interrogated, they cried, they screamed inside their rooms. But they did not know what they were being interrogated for. But they did not know whether they did that in the interrogation room. Did they cry inside their rooms? But they did not know whether they did that in the interrogation room or not. Did they cry inside their rooms? But they did not know whether they did that in the interrogation room or not. Did they cry inside their rooms? But they did not know whether they did that in the interrogation room or not. Did they cry inside their rooms? But they did not know whether they did that in the interrogation room or not. Did they cry inside their rooms? But they did not know whether they did that in the interrogation room or not. Did they cry inside their rooms? Parce qu'on leur avait arraché les ongles des pieds. Réponse. Pour ce qui est de l'arrachage des ongles. But I saw prisoners who were blindfolded, and sometimes I saw the wounds on their backs and bodies. J'ai vu les plaies sur leur dos, sur leur corps. And in the evening, when they were taken back into their rooms, and sometimes when I replaced the inner guards, I heard the screaming coming from those rooms. Parfois, lorsque j'ai remplacé des gardes de l'intérieur de l'enceinte, j'ai entendu les cris venant de leurs venant de ces salles. Merci, Monsieur Imoui. Par ailleurs. En ce qui concerne les enfants, vous nous avez dit qu'il y avait un certain nombre d'enfants de 1 à 8 ans qui restaient avec leur mère dans les mêmes salles de détention que les mères. Mais y avait-il des enfants un peu plus vieux, de 8 à 12 ans Et à ce moment-là, s'il y en avait, où est-ce qu'ils étaient détenus Response. When they were brought in, they would be detained, and even if for those children age, age or over or about, they would be detained there too. And when the mother or the father had to be taken out and killed, then the children would be taken along, especially by the pains group.
Mais y avait-il aussi séparément des enfants plus grands, des, ce qu'on appellerait de jeunes adolescents, entre 9, 10, 11, 12, peut-être 13 ans Je the age pas group of those children because I only went there occasionally. Parce qu'il y avait des enfants que occasionnellement. Vous nous avez dit que parfois il y avait eu des arrivages de prisonniers tellement importants qu'on avait dû les mettre dans des cellules directement sans faire la photo. À votre connaissance, est-ce que la photo a été faite après, automatiquement, ou est-ce que certains sont repartis pour être exécutés sans avoir eu de photo The prisoners, when they arrived, they would be photographed. Normalement, les prisonniers étaient photographiés à leur arrivée. Vous nous avez dit que, à un moment donné, après l'arrestation de Hou, vous aviez eu particulièrement peur d'être arrêté. Et voilà ce que j'avais noté. Vous aviez dit, à, pour, avoir, pour être accusé, d'avoir voulu organiser une rébellion avec votre fusil. Est-ce que je pourrais vous demander ce que vous vouliez nous dire C'était jeudi la semaine dernière. Oui, j'ai commencé à avoir peur me, quand Doug m'a dit, session, lors d'une séance de formation, no que Noon m'avait mis en cause. And that I wanted to conduct a rebellion activity, et que je voulais prendre la tête d'une rébellion. Je dis que ce n'était pas vrai. And I laughed at him. Et j'ai même ri. I told him I would not commit such an act, but from that day onwards, I was very concerned and afraid, and I thought one day my day would arrive. And every time I went to work, I asked her to change the guns that I carried because he had the key to the weapon storage. Later on, Pang was arrested, and I became even more fearful. And if I was implicated, then I would be arrested. So I told her that He was also implicated by Pang. Pang. That is one account. And another account regarding my guarantee for Chuck. As I stated ah, earlier, I requested to Ho not to transfer him to work in the rice fields, and I wanted him to work with me, and after his suicide, I became even more burdened. Je devenais en quelque sorte and later on, when I was transferred to work in a rice field, and after the arrest of Hoi, I knew that one day would be come because I was part of this line of the network. Est-ce que parfois vous avez vu arriver des gens que vous connaissiez et à ce moment-là, qu'avez-vous pensé? Response. I saw people whom I knew, oui, and des gens que je I was scared. They Et were eu peur. from the 703 Ils division de because my division. group was also from the 703 division. division. So we were from the same network, and I was Donc afraid that they would implicate me. Que nous mis en cause. Vous saviez que S21 était une prison secrète. Est-ce que vous diriez que S21 était une prison politique Response. 
because people were also called to study from Riso and other areas. And I did not know any other secret location. Est-ce que vous diriez que la prison de S21 était une prison de torture et d'extermination Bad response. It was of course a prison where torture was committed and where the killings took place. Enfin, avant que je passe la parole à mon co-avocat cambodgien, en 1983, pourquoi vous a-t-on pris pour le directeur de S21 I did not know the reason. I was arrested and alleged that I was the chairman of the prison. And I told them if I was the chairman, then I would not return from the forest. And after they detained me, and I told them that when I worked there, I was not intended to work there. I, I request for transfer from the prison to the military unit, but I was denied. So I explained to them that I did all kinds of things that were assigned to me in order to survive. But some group looks like a crumb. Council, good morning, Jonas. Good morning, Mr. Hamhoi. I would like to ask you regarding the strict rule that you just said. And what was a strict rule and who actually regulated that rule? Response. When I worked as a security at S21, the rule was very strict, and it was only Luch who regulated such rules. Ho, even if at his level he would not be able to do it. Council, what did the rule stipulate? Response. Response. We, the children of Onka, we, the children of the party, and we are not the children of our parents. So when we carry our work, we have to respect the Onka in every single activity, walking, standing, working, or sleeping. And whoever fails to abide by the regulations, then that person will be considered an enemy and will be arrested and detained. Council, thank you. Question. Regarding the study session, which you said you frequently participated, what was the ideology regarding the arrest, the detention, and the sending of those prisoners to be killed, which was trained or given at the study sessions? Quelle était la formation qu'on vous donnait sur ce plan Réponse. Les study sessions were for both the interrogators and the guards. So for the guards, the guards we had to absolutely guard those prisoners, and the, for the interrogators, they have to extract the confessions from the prisoners, otherwise we would not achieve the 100% result required by the party. In the beginning, it was not that strict. It means we could chit-chat a little bit with one another, but later on we were imposed and we would be required to monitor each other's activity. It means we were like a horse. We were only asked to look straight and that we could not see any sight of our vision. Council, 
Council. Question. Could you tell us the fate of the S21 staff who failed to abide by the disciplines and the ideology of the parties imposed on them? Response. I knew clearly the fate of those workers. They were only waiting for the day that they would be killed, and that would be the end of our life. Et pour nous tous, c'était euh, la fin annoncée. Council. Question. In general, the, impl the implementation of the rules on the S21 staff, général, des règles did en they S21 actually du personnel de S21? give weight to the performance or the Quand offense that were allegedly committed by those staff, or did they only apply the regulations without regardless of their activities or offenses? Response. Each one of us, whether we responded or not, or if we were implicated by another person or not, we would be arrested at their own discretion. It means we, if we commit just one slight mistake, then we would be arrested if anyone from our network was arrested. It suffisait aussi que quelqu'un d'autre appartenant à notre groupe ou réseau soit arrêté. Council. Can you provide a little bit further Question. clarification on the arrest uh, by network, I mean from the upper echelon or from the leader to the subordinates, or only those people who were implicated were arrested? Response. The term they used was to arrest by, their, by the network. So, for example, if the 703 exemple, members were arrested and if they implicated us because we were also the former 703 members, then would, we would be arrested. Alors nous devions être arrêtés à notre tour. Council, my last question. 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 Regarding your testimony, What is your expectation in providing the testimony to the chamber today? Qu'attendez-vous du fait que vous avez déposé Response. devant la chambre aujourd'hui? Réponse. We, we seem to be reborn. I talked about those of us who survived. Uh, we were the lucky group, and we only want survécu. justice. Nous sommes quelques personnes qui avons eu cette chance et nous souhaitons aujourd'hui avoir Justice. The president. Voir la justice rendue. Next. Le président. I would like to give the floor to the civil party lawyers group, group four. Quatre. If you have questions to be put to the witness, do take the floor. Avez-vous des questions que vous souhaitez poser à l'accusé? Uh, au témoin, pardon, sur le interprète. Counsel Hong Kim Soon. Hong Kim Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Jonas. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs les Juges. Good morning, Mr. Hemhoy. Bonjour, Monsieur Hemhoy. Please, a response to my question. Pouvez-vous répondre aux questions que je vais vous poser regarding your activities at S21 as follows? À S21. Previously, you told the President and the Chamber regarding your duties before you entered Phnom Penh, that is, before the 17 April 1975. My question is, on that day, on the 17 April 1975, your unit, did your unit reach Phnom Penh if so, at which location? À Phnom Penh? Et si tel est le cas, Response. Par quel, uh, we, I arrived at Phnom, in Phnom Penh Je at the Phnom Penh Yukunto School. Par de Yukunto. It was in the afternoon, around 3 p.m. 
we instructed the Lunars group to gather the weapons. And in the evening, around 6 p.m., I was injured. Council, thank you. Question. On the day that your group collected the weapons from the Lunars group, was there an instruction in advance for such activity? And if so, whose instruction was it? Response. Ho, the deputy of Deutsch, was my commander, was my regiment commander, and we were in three groups. During the day, all the leaders arrested those senior Lunars people, and they drove their vehicles to make an announcement for the Lunars group to lay down their arms. The situation later became quiet, and then Ho instructed me to go and instruct the Lunars group to lay down their arms. So I walked alone, and I told them who was in charge. And a person came up and said, I was in charge. So I instructed him to use a vehicle to collect all those weapons along the national road. Then I returned, and I then sat at the north corner of the Yukunto School. Council, let me refresh my question if you are not clear. My question is, before you implemented the collection of the weapons or the instruction that you gave to the Lunar soldiers, was there any senior leaders or your commander who instructed you in advance what to do, for example, to gather the weapons or to force people to evacuate or to shoot them if they did not follow it? Response. When I entered Phnom Penh, I did not uh, ask people to leave, and I did not fire any shot. We only shot at each other at the Stung Mienche Bridge. But later on, when the Lunar group was defeated, so we progressed further until the Petjan area or the, or the Yukunto School. The council. This means that you did not know in advance of the planning. Response. For example, when I seized the two tracks with the 155 artilleries, I did not mistreat those colonels. And I instructed him to leave the tracks there and to return home. I did not know any planning in advance. For example, at the Yukunto school, I went to instruct them to collect the weapons, and that was what I was told to do. Council, from the beginning, you informed the chamber about your duties when you first started working in that location. For example, you worked in a vegetable farm. So the question is, from the time that you started working at S21 and that you worked in a location to receive the prisoners, which is now known as the Beehive Radio Station, au bureau de réception des prisonniers qui se trouve à ce qui est maintenant la station de radio What duties at radio stations were involved and how many staff in your group and what was their age? Response. There were about 10 people in my group, including the drivers and the radio operator. And those people, some of them were four or five years older than me. Et certains d'entre eux avaient quatre ou cinq ans de plus que moi, d'autres étaient plus jeunes, de deux ou trois ans. 
Council. Question. You already told the President and the Chamber. Vous avez répondu au Président et à la Chambre. That the, the chief and the one who issued order was Dutch at the S21 office in Phnom Penh. Qui vous des the question is, before you question. received the prisoners who were sent to your receiving point, which is now known as the Beehive radio station, you said there was a messenger who came to provide the information beforehand. How people were assigned, were, were transferred to Preso was different than those who were sent to S21 office. What about the sending of people to the houses around the vicinity of Preso, of S21? Was the decision made at your location? If so, who made the decision? Response. Before they were sent to us, there was already a list of their names, and the important prisoners would be sent into that location. For the less important prisoners, they were still on the track. Because there was already a list of the names, then they would be sent to Preso. And the only important prisoners were sent to us, and we would send them to inside the S21 office, the council. You also said Question. sometimes you brought the prisoners inside the S21 compound, which was known as a Punyayat High School at the time and as acknowledged by Dutch. Did you ever go towards the back of the buildings in that Punyayat High School? And if so, were there a kitchen, a workshop, cuisine, an atelier? Response. Yes, I went to the back of the building. The council, thank you. Question, merci. I just. Recall you what it, you said behind that Vous school. Dit, it was the Toulouse Primary School. Il y avait, donc le lycée, il y avait de and inside that location, là, was there an interrogation location or a location where the prisoners were detained? Et là, était des salles d'interrogatoire Response. No, it was not in that location, although I am not clear. I think it was used as a medical unit. The council. Question. In S21 office or the former Ponyayat High School, you said Dutch was the chairman and he was the most uh, senior leader. And later, there was a Ho and a Hoi Srai. Is this correct? Response. At S21, Dutch was the chairman. Next, brother Ho, the one I Ho. And then Hoi, he was a member. Et puis, Ho, and he in charge of the rice fields at Preissol. Council. Question. Rick, you also provided an interview to the co-investigating judges on the 18th of September 2007 at 9 a.m. And the document à number is D19 slash 5 bar 5. on page 1 through 5. And on the last page, on page, page 5 in the Khmer language, la Khmer, let me just read it. Vous dites ceci. The co-investigating judges asked you a question. question Dutch and Ho. Did they work well together? 
and you replied, Duc came first and Ho came later. And there were people coming from 703. Some they had arguments on three occasions and Ho told me that Deutsch was in favor of his group from the east, from the east zone and Ho was in favor of the 703 or the special zone and that Deutsch brought the children from the east zone as his support for the future use, and that he arrested those from the 703. And if the prisoners implicated the 703, then Deutsch would instruct them to be arrested and interrogated and killed. But he did not do that to the East Zone. And that was with an order from Deutsch, because in that location, it was only Deutsch who made the decision. I could see that in that prison, Dutch only made a decision and Ho did not dare to object. So my question regarding your, your statements to the co-investigating judge, are you still confirming that statement? Response. That is correct. Counsel. Regarding your interview with the co investigating judges, document number D19-6 in the Khmer language, which you provided on the 19th of September 2007 at 9 a.m. On the Khmer version, on page 5, de ce document, in responding to a question regarding te the taking of the prisoners to be killed with the president's leave, I would just like to read a few lines from this page. The co-investigating judges ask you regarding the taking of the prisoners to be killed and whether the Vietnamese prisoners were detained for quite a long time before they were taken to be killed, and you responded that they would be kept for about a fortnight, interrogated, and they would be killed behind the S21, and that your group and Pain's group did the killing, and I did not know about those who did not yet provide the confession. And this is also in relation to the question raised by Liang Wagner and T. Srina regarding the mass killing and whether the children were killed. Did you know that when the children were taken and killed, what was the range of their age and where were they killed and whether they were killed and buried within the compound of S21? But response. Children who were killed uh, were, of course, executed to the west of the prison. Mr. Kumsun, can you confirm the age range of those children who were killed? Him Hoi. They were range, their age range from one year above. Mr. Gumsoon, thank you. Maître Gumsoon, merci. I would like to ask some question concerning the killing field or Chung Aik killing site where detainees were exterminated. You stated that you were the chief of the transportation unit uh, who carried uh, the detainees to be executed or who were transporting detainees. And you indicated that you saw Deutsch at the killing sites. Do you still confirm Sur that your previous statement is still true. Mr. Humphoy, I confirm. Réponse, je confirme.
Mr. Hongkamsun, thank you. Merci. The next question. On the 15th of September 1990 at 9 a.m., Him Hoi gave an interview or talked uh, with the district uh, committee during the state of Cambodia document D61-1 as a reference in Khmer it is referred to page 3 with ER 0028 on the last page toute dernière page and uh, the second last line avant dernière you ligne. stated Vous in that record ici that in office que s21 i heard dodge exchange conversation that we shall kill disons, everyone except the four million people À de so it de personnes. means we kill all people. So does it mean that uh, uh, people would be killed across the country and that only 4 million would be left? Is that what you heard correctly? Des gens dans du pays pour Mr. Humphoy, if you don't understand personnes. the question, you can si ask me to repeat. Pas bien ma question, et je Him Hoi. Réponse. The president, I know that the defense council is on the field, so the floor is yours. Vous avez la parole. Monsieur le Président, je pense Mr. que c'est une question très largement répétitive. Elle a été posée exactement dans les mêmes termes il y a un petit moment. To, uh, si on pouvait éviter de reposer les mêmes questions. Uh, so if we could avoid repeating uh, the same question over and over again. The President, thank you for your observation. Mr. Hum Hoi is advised not to respond to Mr. Hong Kong Soon repeated question. So, Mr. Hong Kong Soon, you are advised to rephrase your question. Mr. Hong Soon, thank you. I only raised this matter because I would like him to confirm whether uh, the killing would be conducted on a national scale or rather than confined to the devait avoir lieu sur l'ensemble du territoire ou est-ce que ça devait se faire à Mr. President, Mr. Hum Hoi, do you understand the question? The question is the same, but uh, he only wants you to emphasize uh, the term, which means uh, si only four million people would be spared. Uh, so what does it mean? Que uh, de personnes. Que cela voulait dire? First, Doj said it. Réponse. He said everyone had to be killed and leaving only four million people. Pour ne and que then later on he said everyone tard, il a dit, shall be smashed tout le monde sera écrasé. to bits, to all. And then the, the statement I still uh, remember je, ever since. Je me souviens de the President, thank you, thank you Mr. President. I have depuis. no further questions Maître at Kim the moment. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je pas the Apposé. President. Le Président. The questions put uh, by the civil party lawyers have Les been completed uh, and that uh, it is now uh, 5 past 12. The chamber will take an adjournment. The session will be resumed at 1.30 p.m. The court official is now directed to coordinate with the witness so that he can have a rest and enjoy his lunch. And the security personnel are also instructed to take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him in by 1.30 p.m. The court is adjourned.